The Lexus GX460 has full-time four-wheel drive. It uses a Torsen Type C center differential. Today, I'm going to talk about what happens if you go off-road and you don't lock your center differential. Admittedly, this video is addressing a uh, common thing I see online, which is people going off-road in a vehicle that has full-time four-wheel drive, such as the Lexus GX460 or the Toyota 4Runner Limited, and they don't lock the center differential. Today, I'm going to talk about the wear that that could potentially do if you insist on off-roading without locking your center differential. Now, it can be confusing because the... Uh, GX460 has full-time four-wheel drive, and it does great off-road, don't get me wrong, but the primary benefit of full-time four-wheel drive is actually on-road, so it's an on-road feature. You can most certainly take it off-road in light off-roading, and that's a little bit of a subjective thing that we'll get to in a second, but let's just jump right in to what happens if you go off-roading and you don't lock the center differential, you think you're in full-time four-wheel drive, and you start uh, going off-road. So uh, basically, you're gonna induce wear in your center differential. This white um, piece of pipe is gonna represent a helical gear in your Torsen C differential. And this is going to, this black plate here is going to represent a uh, friction disc in your uh, Torsen Type C center differential. So anyway, basically this you have a series of these gears spinning inside your center differential. And if you go off-road in full-time four-wheel drive, as in you, you get one axle off the ground, and the front axle, let's say, is up in the air and the rear is on the ground, well, this, this gear, this helical gear inside the center diff is going to spin very, very fast and then start to thrust forward. So it has a thrusting action to it. It's not just going to spin around or rotate like this, but it's actually going to thrust in and out, and that's where the limited slip stuff happens. So when after uh, your wheels go in the air, this gear speeds up and it thrusts forward and it reaches a friction plate, literally a friction disc or a series of friction discs, and that limits this gear or stops it from spinning or rotating, which then locks the front and rear together. Now I say lock, it doesn't truly lock, it just limits or slows down both to get that limited slip action. Here's the deal, if you keep doing this off-road, especially more moderate off-roading, and you start spinning wheels and getting axles up in the air, you're always asking this to engage and disengage and engage, and remember this is a friction, it's not a true lock, so it's a wear friction. So it's always wearing the end of this helical gear against the friction disc over and over and over and over. So you will induce uh, premature wear on that center differential if you go off-roading in that. So this is something that I see a lot online, and it's no criticism to anybody that does this. It just may be, uh, you know, it, it's not understanding that just because you have full-time four-wheel drive doesn't mean you should thrash this full-time system off-road. What you want to do is lock the center differential. That way this friction plate here is taken completely out of the equation. So there's no more friction plate and there's a mechanical lock from one helical gear to the other helical gear and it's completely locked. So you can thrash it all you want in that case. But the confusion might lie because the full-time four-wheel drive system sounds like you can do whatever you want, uh, however you want, and that's true. And it's to some degree, and this is what I'm getting at, it's a subjective thing that you're gonna have to draw the line. Where do I lock the differential off-road or where do I just uh, leave the center differential unlock and let the torse in action do its thing? Now, it's up to you, it's subjective, but I'll give you my own example. And this is what I say, we live on dirt roads we, if we are off-road and we know the dirt roads, we know our axle's not going to go flying up in the air, we know 
the trail, we know the neighborhood, we know whatever, wherever we're going. We know the path we're going. We know the terrain that we're going in. And so we can keep it with the torsion uh, center differential unlocked because we know we're not going to be flying axles up in the air and having major friction action going on as wheels spin and this tries to engage and disengage and make friction against this plate. Okay, so if you know or are familiar and you know it's going to be a, an easy trail or you're familiar with the trail, you know your wheels aren't going to be spinning, then go ahead and leave it unlocked. If you are unsure of the trail and you've never been down the trail before, just lock it. It doesn't do you any benefits to leave this thing unlocked. Again, this is primarily an on-road feature. Um, more than anything else. It works on road. You have four wheels going all the time. So uh, that's the lesson of today's video is if you have a habit of keeping your uh, center torsion center differential unlocked off road and you're spinning wheels over and over, you're going to wear out the end of this gear. Remember this is a series is just one in this example. You're going to wear out this heel cool gear end and the friction plates sooner rather than later. So get in the habit of locking the diff if you've never been down that path before. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day.